You work hard creating unique strategies and content, producing work product that you'll use to make a living, to make your living. And then Gary V tells us to give it away for free. Like I put out all my best shit. Like people email me every single day saying, I make more money because of you. Well, here's why people are telling us to give away our work for free. What it means for us, for our work, for our living, for our egos. And I'll give you an example of one time when I did it and didn't get the job. Hi, my name is James Callahan, and this is The Do-Over Show, where we try new and strange ideas because, well, the first time we tried it, it didn't work out. And we're ready to succeed. If that's you, then let's find out what it means to give away our best work for free. Well, here I am. What can I do for you? What do you think? I think you wouldn't be in the presidential suite right now if you worked for free. Don, this is friendly. Connie, this is my profession. What do you want me to do? I want you to give me one for free. The first most obvious thing is that, hey, everyone can't give away their best work for free because our work product is who we are. And it really depends on what kind of work product we're talking about. If you're an athlete and playing for someone makes them money using your talent, you're a product. You're an NFT of you. Same goes for a graphic designer, artist, performer, lyricist, photographer, copywriter. You get the idea. Giving away our best stuff is really about building personal brand, creating the kind of space we need to show that we can be trusted, that we can execute real ideas and bring benefit, a value add to others. That's what we're doing by giving away free things. We're creating our own opportunities to excel. Carl, this is a solid question. You know, I think at some level there is a risk about giving away your best work for free. For me, that's been the gateway drug at some level because I think best work needs to be defined. It depends on what your work is. So if we do produce a product, what are we supposed to be giving away? Maybe 30,000 foot views, vague generalities, maybe a little clickbait to entice them. No. What we're supposed to be giving away are executable examples. At the close of a recent work session with a group of people struggling with their social media presence and engagement, I gave them something free, threw it out there and asked them a question. Do you ever get comments on your posts? Well, yes, we do. I said, and you reply to each and every one of those comments, right? And they said, no, we don't. I said, well, let's make social media actually social and make it your job for the next few weeks to reply to each and every comment that's left on what you post. Not with sales pitches and not with sign up here or give me your email address and I'll exchange that for a free ebook. No, with real engagement and appreciation. Like, that's really valuable. Thank you for joining the conversation. Thanks for sharing that. That's a good example. I wonder what other people think of that. That is, use it as an opportunity to build and continue the conversation. When Starbucks rolls out a new drink, they employ additional social media managers to reply to almost every single comment. Thousands and thousands of comments about the new Rappa Frappa Latte. Now, what they're able to do then is to engage on a creative level and build a sense that on social media, they're listened to and they're responsive. They're actually giving feedback. Sorry you didn't like it. Maybe you'd like to try this one instead. If that was too sweet, here are two other options from the menu. Try that next time you're in. That's what a social media manager does. Do you do that? Now, yes, it may be a simple addition, a closing that circle of engagement, but will they do that? Maybe, just maybe. And will they do it in a way that shows that they care? that shows some creative engagement and doesn't just copy and paste a series of comments. By the way, the only reason I give away all my shit for free, and you know this is how I roll, yeah. you benefited from it, Yeah, is because I know there's only a couple of you that are gonna do it. Bingo. Right. And this gets us to the real reason why giving away our best content does not cut off making a living because most people 99% of those that we give away free content to will not execute our plans themselves, even if we lay it out for them and give them templates and decks that give them the plans to do it. 
Most people don't have the skill, the ability, the capacity to execute the kind of plans that we can execute. That's not being pessimistic, that's being realistic. The reality for self-aware businesses, organizations, and C-suite leaders is that most of them will not take the freebie and say, oh good, I stole that from you, thanks, I can execute that myself. Giving away our best work is not the same thing as doing it for them. And most of what we pitch, they've probably already heard, but haven't been able to execute. They'll resonate with what we say, maybe even not along, but they won't know how to actually do it in a measurable way. And that brings us to the second dimension of this giveaway move that's become popular lately, and that is that most of our ideas aren't really unique. What we offer is an opportunity to uniquely apply solutions to their problems. What we're offering is an entrepreneur's approach to ideas and strategic planning. An entrepreneur takes things that exist. Maybe they're created by somebody truly uniquely creative, but they haven't found an audience. They haven't found customers for it yet. What an entrepreneur does is they take existing ideas, products, services, and they're repackaged and marketed in such a way that appeals to and adds value to and discovers the audience that's willing to say, yes, that's for me. An entrepreneurial approach is at the heart of the give it away movement. That's the exciting part of the give it away for free opportunity. But for the most part, the give it away free move that we're talking about is a way of expressing our understanding of the pain or the problem that others experience. And that we're going to be the ones who bring things to bear upon the problem, maybe from other industries, businesses, different opportunities that we bring and we say, let's apply this here to your problem. And here's a measurable that will get you a result. The result that you just couldn't find without me. Good, now go do it. Exactly. Like, I mean, gee, when are we gonna understand that entrepreneurship is a skill? For my part, I'm willing to say that if someone's not implementing or if they don't find interesting an idea that I've shared on different platforms, then that actually is fine with me. I'm one of those odd persons that actually enjoys, I like it when someone unsubscribes from a newsletter. I know it keeps marketing departments up at night. We lost another subscriber, why? And we tend to focus on that one person that said no to us and wind up ignoring the hundreds or thousands that stay on the list, that opened our email, that maybe clicked through and did follow the call to action that we wanted them to. What everybody needs to do on this that's listening and that what you and I have to do, the only thing we can really do is put ourselves in the best position to succeed to maximize our upside. It's an idea. It's not me they're rejecting. They're taking advantage or not taking advantage of something and I'm giving it to them. I'm grateful for the opportunity that they have to put their eyes on an idea and say, I wonder if this would work for me and how would I do this? If I stimulated that kind of engagement, then I'm on the right path. And most entrepreneurs in this mindset fail, not because they try and make a mistake, but because they fail to try a second or third time to adapt and to reapply and to repackage and to remarket with a different focus what they have offered. And I've done a video about why people really do fail just because they don't try a second time. Hey, check out that video here. And the third part of the give it away for free move is strategic. It gives us an opportunity to leverage the trust and the personal brand that we have built in order to find eventually an outcome which leads to a working relationship and a payday. When you are doing something for free, it needs to be strategic because what you're looking to do by giving away something for free is to create leverage to then do something that is not for free. That is, it's strategic but it's not manipulative. It's not giving away clickbait, hoping that we'll get somebody to sign up for our course. Now, people make a living every day on digital media offering clickbait for sign up for this course and get this ebook, only three easy payments of 19.95. Now, the give it away free movement is to build a service relationship. It doesn't guarantee an immediate result because you're a good person and deserve other people's money. There's no entitlement tied up with it. In fact, the give it away free move is a cure for the entitlement that most of us feel because we've got this unique, wonderful idea that no one has ever thought of before. And it's really interesting when we pay attention that the give it away free movement is all around us. 
YouTubers do it. It's the design of YouTube. It's how most of us engage with popular YouTubers. They give and give and give. Yes, there are those pop-up ads that interrupt or pre-roll. I get that. But they give and give and give because on the back end, after they build trust, subscribers, and that relationship, not only can they leverage it to merch and an online course, but they can also get paid in ad revenue. And yes, I would love it if you subscribe and ring the notifications bell so you don't miss the next episode. But the purpose of the give it away free movement is to build that presence, that brand, and that trust. So let me tell you that story of the recent opportunity I had to give something away for free and I didn't end up getting the job. A regional nonprofit was looking for someone like me. I'd gone through the interview and the vetting process, which was very involved. And I met with the VPs and the one VP I would be working with directly. We had a nice lunch together. And then I got the interview with the CEO and it was supposed to be a half hour meeting and he drew it out, extended it to almost 90 minutes. I thought, this is it, fantastic. And the next day I got a phone call asking me to make a very detailed presentation to the leadership team about what I would actually do, the measurables I would use and the economic upside to completing this hire. Yes, they were asking for a freebie. What would you do? Well, I gave them the freebie that they asked for. I gave them a four slide deck filled with actionable steps, a timing of a plan, a strategic plan, the measurables that I would use, an example of the marketing that I would use in this plan and the people in the company that I had met utilizing their strengths in order to contribute to executing this plan. I gave it to them, shared it with the leadership team and they offered me a three month contract because this is what I discovered. They weren't really sold on the idea of spending as much as a person like me would cost to execute this plan, even though I had laid out the details. People around me, my friends said, why did you give it to them for free? And here's the answer, because they still haven't executed my plan. But if you do not understand that it actually is actual talent. Now they've interviewed others for this job, They've repackaged the job. They've tried a higher title. They've tried a lower title. They've tried the same amount of money. They've done everything they can to try to get a person. That was more than a year ago and they're still advertising this position as open. And by the way, nothing has changed in their marketing. Nothing has changed in the plans and programs that I was pitching and nothing has changed in their bottom line. I just saw their annual report from last year. So how about you? Do you have something as part of your work product that you use to make a living that you can give away for free that will build a space of brand and trust with people? Some reputation, some awareness that you are willing to give and contribute, that you're grateful, not entitled, and that you look at what you do as a joyful opportunity to solve others' problems. The give it away free movement is about that. That kind of gratitude, that kind of eliminating entitlement, are you ready to sign up for that? Hey, and thanks for being part of the Do Over Show. I really appreciate it. It's great that you're here and we get to work through these things together. And please do subscribe. And while you're there, ring the notifications bell so you don't miss an episode of the Do Over Show. I'm so glad you found me and I found you. Thanks.